Okay, protein is a macro molecule. It can contain up to 10 power, 10 power of 5 amino acids. Polypeptide and proteins actually happen to be have the same general formula. Polypeptide also is a long change with it. Sometimes it's a long change or the uh, short change. Okay, then protein definitely long chain la. Okay, the COOH of an uh, amino acid will react with the NH2 of another amino acid. We are the condensation to form the peptide linkage or peptide bond. So when we write for the uh, to form a peptide change, so the COH put one side, then another end of the NH2 just attached to it. Okay, where how to form the H2 to come up from it to combine these two together? Okay. Then the OH of the COH we combine with the H of the NH2 to form the H2O. So the COH left with the CO and whereas for the NH2, H will combine with this OH. Then the NH2 becoming NH. So the peptide bond of peptide linkage must consist of the structure of CO. And NH and CO and NH. This is the peptide linkage or the peptide bond. Okay, this is true condensation to form the peptide bond. Whereas when we come to hydrolysis, we put what is when it react with water, we breaking down with water water. Okay, it can go to using in the laboratory. We can break down using uh, alkali or acid. And then in the biological system, like the human body, you can break it down using the enzyme. Just like all the food go inside. Uh, like the glucose uh, can be broken down by the amylase in our uh, saliva, using the saliva to break it down. Okay, break it down. How to break it down? Just easily. The hydrolysis using water, isn't it? So the H2O will recombine with the CO inside there. Okay, the, so the CO will collect back the H, the N becoming COH from the CO. Okay, then another part of it, the NH, take back one hydrogen becoming NH2. This is to break down, then one becoming two, pro, two uh, amino acid, two amino acid. Okay, if we have a dipeptide, dipeptide formed from the combination of two amino acid so when we break down we will get two amino acid okay tripeptide we have three amino acid then using the hydrolysis we break down we will get three amino acid okay polypeptide definitely is a long change okay that is very important for today's lesson Okay, we just practice with it how to draw it up.